Hello everybody, Finnewin here. Here I am again, back with uh, Hamburg. And I uh, took a moment to kind of look around and kind of assess a plan and strategy of some sort to see what I'm going to do next here. So, to kind of get myself started, I uh, up my military advisor here to the level 2. I did throw in some music, because I've noticed that it's been pretty musicless since I rolled back a couple patches. With um, the most updated patch, I have a mod which plays... Um, Bloodborne music, which I think is pretty cool. So, uh, besides that though, uh, up my advisor, I built more ships because my naval force limit went up, and just kind of scoped around thinking, okay, well, I do want to attack Poland and Lithuania eventually because they carry a bunch of livestock provinces that I want to get to. And I do need to consider uh, getting gym provinces. Well, the only ones that are nearby at the moment for me are going to be Poland's, the Ottoman capital, uh, capital uh, Constantinople, and then um, the looks have something. I know there's more down here, and eventually I want to get to India as well. But uh, at the moment, uh, let's see. I was thinking, okay, I want to attack Livonia Order, but unfortunately he's allied to Muscovy. Not allied, guaranteed by Muscovy. So, I probably do need to start planning on trying to create an alliance with him, and drag him into a war of some sorts, and then during that war, when he's busy fighting somebody, I can declare my own little war against Livonian Order, who's only allied to Riga, so it would be a pretty easy fight for me. And I did take a look again at Sweden, and I do notice that he is ready for that independence war. I don't know if reset in the game changed something, or if the event actually fired off, but, I'm going to support that. Hmm. Sorry, I got some of my hair in my mouth. So, with that being what it is, that Sweden, he pretty much wants all of his land. Oh, well, I mean, not all of his land, but a good chunk of it right there. So, I just kind of aligned it appropriately so that I wouldn't conflict with his. But hopefully, if we do this independence war, that he decides to give me um, some land in return. Man, let's just sit right there for right now. So, we do got that going on. I guess I do need to turn off this fan here. And let's see. I did fabricate my claim on Utrecht, so I could pull this guy back. But other than that, let's get the show in the world. And it looks like people are leaving coalitions. What's this for? Support alliance. Okay. Oh yeah, and I also do new. Also do need to. Um, and annex this guy. Now the funny thing is, I know I've had the mission for like a long time, but because of the big balance I get for unlawful territory, it also affects my subject. So at this moment, if I start improving relations and maybe give him a gift, I can probably pull it off to get him annexed finally. So I can open up the relationship slot and use that for something else. So we're going to improve relations with Muscovy. I don't think he's rival with France. No. He's rival with Denmark. So hopefully he decides to help also support his independence as well. Looks like Cleves got freed pretty quickly there. But I'm not even going to mess with this anymore. It's just too much... Too much AE going on around here. I uh, lost another fabrication on Poland. Let's see, I could lose a little money and a little dip of points, that's okay. Alright, so hopefully this fires off pretty soon. Oh yeah. I mean, since I am going to be kind of a, a mainly mercenary focused person, there's no point for me to really hang on to professionalism because that will increase my cost to get mercenaries. So let's just do that. 
And then, of course, I am drilling, but, you know, I'm up in my manpower pool here. So now it's just weights. Venice has been getting smacked around down here. He's fighting Cypress. Hmm. Power projection still looking good, but I need to start thinking about... Keeping that above 50 somehow. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Let's take care of that. I don't think there's going to be a big army at all. Yeah, only a 13 stack, so. Let's at least get on that side of the river, so. have to deal with the river crossing penalty when it comes to that time. The Reformation seems to be kicking off pretty well. Brandenburg flipped along with us, so... That's pretty good. Saxony flips as well. Alright. So at this point, Dieter definitely served his purpose with his free thinker. My ideas are fulfilled, and I do want to start building up my Republican tradition a bit, so... I'm thinking... I do want to keep my military up to date. So let's go with Jurgen Bagd Bagdaber as a new dude to take charge. Let me double check this real quick. So March of 1545. I think it should auto stop for me though. So let's bump this up. Then let's bump this up so I get extra money and I don't have to worry about the unbalanced research. Alright. Let's do Ostfriesland, that one, and that one. And then we got Unhalt here, who almost is maxed out. Let's give him some money. 25 ducats. And I can start annexing him, annexing him now. Indulgent, great. All right, so that's going to free up a relationship slot here pretty soon. I think that is going to anger a lot of um, HRE people with me, though. What's going on here? Cologne means an Aachen, and he's fighting Cleves from Brandenburg. Cologne has been getting pretty big there. Yeah, let's get Muscovy as a friend. Mine's pirated us. Huh. Well, let's set each other to friend. Okay, that's already taken care of. Alright, I mean, I guess I can't really do much about that. I mean, I could hire some people to get some power projection going. That should be my best method, besides insulting people. Like once it hits 49, I'm going to insult somebody. Come on, Sweden. You know you want to be free. going on here. 
Reformation branches out. Does that mean we have... Yep, now Reform is activated. Let's bump up our military. Maybe... Get the Schwarzo Riders. Let's do the Padero. Maybe this might cause Sweden to feel more inclined to start the war. And let's have the non busy diplomat just improve relations with the allies in the meantime. I don't mind losing a little money. I actually might bump this guy back down to a level one. Just because I do want to make a good income. We still have 50 there. Clones fabricating claims. Brandenburg is actually getting beaten up. Alright. Unhalts is no more. Where am I at with my force limit? I am two over. Uh, I think that'd be okay. Conquer Holstein? That would be nice. That would be nice too. That would be really awesome. This one's probably the easiest to do. The old. We got ourselves the old um, mission system there. And I did just notice something too. I don't think I'm going to get that. He had his alliance broken with me. So yeah, that's going to make that mission even harder to fulfill. So now I need a new friend. I mean, if Sweden breaks its independence, that's an alliance right there. Who can I even ally? So I guess I can ally Muscovino. I'm not sure how that flips. Hmm. AI does wonky things sometimes. All right, so Brandenburg and I are no longer friends. I think that's going to be the beginning of the decline for him. Because he immediately got into a second war, it seems. But I guess while we are... I might as well try to keep relations... Work on relations as best I can with the Emperor. Just build up money. Come on, Sweden. You know you want your independence. Yeah, I'm also waiting for... There we go. I was going to say, I'm waiting for those rebels to pop. Alright, so... We're still at... We need 25. So that means... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Get rid of 3... Alright. Let's move to the borders. So I would imagine sometime soon Sweden shield actually maybe it's, is it because of Poland that's keeping that from happening? And the lines a thing again. How many people have access through me freely? Nobody. Just the way I like it. I probably could let go of my alliance with the Papal State, because I don't think he's really going to help me too much. Who would even be a good candidate to take his place? I mean, I got France and Muscovy as friends, so that's already saying something. Do 
who is the Papal State ally to? Me, Portugal, and Spain. Unusual, but I mean, with me, it would be the un only unusual part of it. But I guess with Spain and Portugal, that makes sense. Oh, wait, I've not been paying attention to my power projection. Yep. Awesome. Here we go. We are fighting Poland, too. So, let's slow this down. And let's start grabbing lands. I'm going to send the cavalry over here. I'm going to send that over there. We are fighting Utrecht as well. I might need to... I did also hire a... Let's get in there and help with that. Now I do know... Do I have missions here? Hunt enemy fleets in the Baltic. Poland is going to be coming up in here messing up with my stuff. I say, if anything, let's take care of Utrecht first. And let's just do improve our prestige mission. And this is just going to have to happen for a little bit. Where are you going? You going to run away now? I'm going to play a hole. Bump the speed up a little bit. Progress to inflation. Uh, not really going to help too much. Alright, I'm going to go back and repair. Good. I think this is stated, so let's make it harder for them by... Defensive Edict. Let's split this up so that... This is level 3, right? Let's start sieging him down. Who is... Controlling this. No way. Let's get a little cheaty here. I'll make the burgers upset. Let's. We need some cannons. Capital, which is not cool. Let me see if I can get a defensive guy so I can just stack those modifiers like crazy. Army organizer, eh. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's just swing over there. that fort over there but I think I'll live let's go for prestige so I can get that mission done is Muscovy even I guess he's kind of helping So there's Utrecht down. Let's go relieve the capital. Hmm. Oh, might as well get a statesman going. Cause why not? Get back over there and start blockading him. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Wallachia gave me some money. Interesting. Let's go beat up these guys. Get my fort back. Are we even? We kind of more troops according to this thing. Go back to CG Denmark. All right, so I could probably set this back to protect trade. Let's keep the cavalry there. got some of his land back from Brandenburg or he took some from Saxony something like that yeah that's gonna be the start of Brandenburg is gonna start losing it here Utrecht is now an elector Mainz is a rival let's see he is 60, I might as well get a new dude. I don't like his initial trait he has. Maybe this guy will do a little bit better. Minus 10% AE, very good. And Poland is back here again. A 
let's get Calvary on here because Denmark's gonna probably pull some sneaky stuff. Let's go beat up on Denmark. And we should go to Lauenburg. Oh, what baloney is this? You can't go anywhere. Are you kidding me? because he has a maneuver person that's much faster than me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, where do you think you're going? All right. So we got that taken care of. Let's start pulling out some of our amazing fighting skills. Let me think. One, two. Let's just get three mercs going. That is a full line. 25. Yeah, that should be good. <sighs> They're not doing so well over here. That's gonna be. Like, I might need. I'm gonna relieve this. Let's take the next administrative idea. Now, I've been kind of conflicted as far as what I wanted to take next. I'm just going to leave those alone for right now. I'm going to think about it later. Because I need to eventually take exploration so I can start getting myself over to India. I do want to take trade because trade will help more money. But I think I'm going to do administrative. Because I still need to get big. And I think my... I mean, if he dies early, I'm going to go back to administrative focus here. And I'm going to send my mercs to siege these two. I'm going to leave my cavalry here. I'm actually going to split my cavalry so the... Uh, I do need to get more cannons. That would probably help a lot if I actually did that. Alright. Let's split this. Uh, I don't take so much attrition. Where am I at with my boat limit? So I could build three more. This will last for five years. I might as well so that I can do this. Almost exactly on the dot. Where are the siege ticks looking like? Pretty quick. Better military. Trade protection against England? France really did that? But France, why? I mean, I guess if you have a better navy, but... But, um, I think at this point I'm gonna put this episode to a pause. 
Um, what do you all think? Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm open to suggestions. And I'll see you all to the next video. Bye-bye.